What's up, ladies and gents? Excalibur's here, bringing you some more from the desk of Excal, episode numero dos. So, what is today's topic of discussion? What is that topic? And this is an age-old question. It's been going on for quite a while now, and that question is... Why you don't have one million subscribers? <laughs> why is that? And before I get into it, let me just preface this by saying I'm not angry about it in any way whatsoever. I'm very happy with where I'm at right now. Uh, could things be better? Sure, but I think if you ask anyone that question, they will say things could be better, but you have to keep in mind, I am I'm getting money, and I'm getting paid for doing video games. It, it does not get better than that. And keep in mind that I do make a living doing this, a pretty healthy living, mind you. Uh, according to some people, I may be going broke because my views aren't as high as they used to be, but I can assure you that is not the case. I, I will get into this a bit later on. And I, I can sum up my financial situation in this one. I can't tell you exactly what I make, but I can say this. I make enough to do what I need, make enough to do what I want, and I have leftovers. All from video games. It does, not, it does not get better than that, so I have no reason to be angry. Um... So th that's more of a, a response, like sort of the sort of comments that I see regarding this, like you know, so and so gets two hundred thousand views, and Excalibur gets twenty thousand. It's an injustice. We must crush the interlopers. Blah blah blah. So on and so forth. That might be a little Excal exaggeration in there, but you know it's sort of very similar. So uh, there's no need for that. I appreciate it. I'm glad people are interested in the growth of my channel, but it's cool. There's no reason to be angry about it. I'm not angry about it, so you shouldn't be either. Now, granted, I, I will give you this. There are some legit ways and some not-so-legit ways to get out there, but it's it's all part of the YouTube game, so to say, and I'll get in, a bit into uh, that later on. So anyway, let's get into the nitty-gritty. Why Why I know have one million subscribers. Why is that? And I think this is the biggest reason, by far. This is the key factor. And that would be... I'm just a big jerk. I'm a fucking asshole. <laughs> it is, I, would, I would say that is the biggest key factor as to why my channel doesn't see monster growth compared to some other people. I, I am a jerk. Through and through, I I am, I'll be the first one to tell you. I've said some pretty pretty deplorable things to people over the years. I think if you were to catalog the things I say to people over the course of a month, uh, and you showed that to like you know like a, a test group of a hundred people, I'd probably rub each and every single single one of them the wrong way. Uh, my attitude is not for everyone. Be the first to admit that, and so I'm just big fucking jerk. All there is to it, it does not take much to make me angry, to bug me, to annoy me. Case in point, where's Spoon? I hate that question so much, even if it is genuine. I mean, Spoon, number one, he has his own channel. That's one. Number two, he has a fairly big channel. It's bigger than my own at this point. Actually, a year ago it wasn't. His channel's grown fast. Maybe I should ask him for tips after uh, I post this up. <laughs> uh, we'll see. And... Number three, every video I have ever done with him has the link to his channel in the description. So why are you asking me where he is? I mean, as far as I can tell, we're not real life brothers. He lives in Utah. I live in Texas. So I just, it bugs the hell out of me. It really does that question. That's why I block people for asking me that question. And hey, I am relentless with the blocking and that attitude just rubs people the wrong way. And I don't blame them. I mean, who would want to support a jackass? I, I do not blame them. And I guess to, to quote the, Cre the great Creed Bratton on this, I've done a lot more for a lot less. I'll let you come to your own conclusions. Uh, I'm not going to parade around the fact that I'm a jackass, but I'm also not going to deny that. And that sort of thing just rubs people the wrong way on a mass appeal scale. And I think some of it has to do with, you know, some people feel that I do not listen to subscribers like, uh, say, for instance, Skyrim. I think that's probably my most requested playthrough of all time, and I am not going to do it. Set up videos, show my face, IRL stuff, reality, whatever. I'm not going to do any of that. So you have to keep in mind, I don't care how many, peop how many people ask me to do something. Even if you get all 230,000 of my subscribers' signatures to get me to do something, if I don't want to do it, I'm not going to do it. 
I mean, would you want me to make something that I don't enjoy? I don't think so. So, you know, I guess that, that sort of attitude may rub people the wrong way, too. But I think that, you know, I can defend myself on that one, at least. So I've got that going for me. But anyway, to sum up first point is the biggest reason, I think. Um, just a big jerk. Rub people the wrong way. Um... I, actually, there, I, I got another example of this. Especially like, if, if you're not familiar with me at all, and like you watch like Call of Duty stuff, and this is a perfect example. The challenge series I did with Onslaught, or Mike. Um, he was a good sport about it. I had a lot of fun doing it. We'll probably do some Black Ops 2 stuff like that. Maybe he'll invite me to his Road to Commander stuff. The Legends part of the thing. Which, by the way, I think was his most popular uh, Modern Warfare 3 parts when I, I joined him for that, so we'll see what happens. But I think people on the outside looking in, when they see like how I conduct myself with friends in live commentary sessions, I mean, I bust people's balls to no one. I talk mad amounts of trash to my friends, to the people I play against, to the people on my team, randoms, friends, BK, random scrandies, whatever you want to call them, and talk that copious amounts of shit. And I don't, I don't mean it. I'm just having fun. And let me tell you something. When you play with people like Waldo Dude and Danny Boy for the greater part of your gaming career, your internet gaming career, you learn to dish it out, to take it, and have fun doing it. So this is that sort of attitude also <laughs> makes people really, really mad. It's like, why you took, why you played with this guy, Mike? He talks so much. Try I me. Mean, just take a look at the comments on his videos. I think on my videos, you know, everyone knows what to expect. But you know, outsiders looking in, they don't really, you know, get the picture. I don't really blame them. It's not for everyone. I admit that. The XCal brand of entertainment, not for everyone. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. So moving on, second point. Uh, I, w I am terrible at business. Just absolutely, absolutely awful. If you want to hire me to lead your company to victory, uh, you shouldn't do it. I, I'll probably make it profitable, but not as profitable as humanly possible. I will not do that. Um, and what I mean by that is, let's say, let's look at yesterday, for instance. I upload a 30-minute Mass Effect video. I'll take the shot M13 Raptor Edition. This video is 30 minutes long and it'll probably get me 10,000 views. It might not even break 10,000 views. If I'm lucky, really lucky, it'll get to 12,000. It probably won't, but that's not the point. The point is, like, I could do, let's say, three Call of Duty videos for that length. Probably even do four, five, six-minute videos each. They will get 40, 50, 60,000 each. I guarantee it. And... You say, yeah, well, Call of Duty gets more views than Mass Effect. What, what's your point? And the point is, like, getting big on YouTube, it's all about how well you can get yourself out there. Because the more eyes you have looking at your videos, the more viewers you you will in turn turn into subscribers. The more subs you get, more viewers, more views, more subs, more subs, more views. And it, it just piles on and on and on and on. Keeps going up. So... And that, that's a large part. I'm not sure which is the bigger factor, you know, me being an asshole or the, the marketing thing. It's all about image, too, <laughs> you know. Um, I've sort of got myself a uh, good old bad reputation. So it's actually gotten to the point I replied to uh, someone's question with the answer no. And oh no, one word. I didn't say anything douchey or snide or... It's just no, it was plain and simple, and someone called me an asshole for it. So <laughs> my reputation precedes me in some cases. But anyway, it's all about getting yourself how well you can get yourself out there. And truth be told, if it was all about, you know, the, getting the big numbers, making lots of money, I am wasting my time doing playthroughs. And Borderlands, Fallout, this Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, there's really no point if my goal is to get myself out. Because, you know, 10,000 views for a 30 minute video is. Uh, pretty goddamn inefficient, especially when I have Call of Duty at my disposal. And it, it adds up over time. I mean, it's, uh, if you if you were to replace, like, the, what, I don't know, like 30 hours I've wasted on Mass Effect, you know, the playthrough and multiplayer concluded, it's probably even more than that. Um, and turn that into Call of Duty or Minecraft or whatever other popular games are out there at the time. And I think my channel would definitely be a lot bigger. 
But also on, on that point, um, like when people come to my channel, the first thing they see is probably a live comp session of Call of Duty. So I think let's be let's be real. Most people do come to my channel in search of the Call of Duty. Um, as much as I hate to admit it, it's it's true. It's damn true. <laughs> um, and uh, the me being a jerk plays a huge part in this because if you've watched any of my live comms or you've been following me for any period of time, you know it does not take very much to get me going. You know, whether it be lag, campers, bullshit deaths, people who don't play the objective. And when I, when I get going, I, there, is no, there is no filter as to what comes out of my mouth. I mean, I, I will not hold back. If something makes me angry, and I will, I will tear it. Try my damnedest to tear it a new one. And even when I'm doing well, there's no pleasing me. Especially <laughs> when it comes to Call of Duty, there really is no pleasing me. And you know that sort of attitude. Like I said, it's very hard to like. It's a very niche market, I guess, of people who enjoy that stuff, enjoy that sort of thing. And uh, let's take for instance the uh, live session that I'm doing right now, the Super Mega Awesome Party Crew Fun Time stuff, with uh, Anthony Spoon and Anthony's friend Altruit, I think his name is. Yeah, very perceptive I am. <laughs> uh, and part four, or you'll I think uh, part five will be uploaded today as well. I haven't decided, but it's pretty much bad gameplay from here on out. I think I went like 25 and 22. In part four, it does not get better from there. It was a, it, I would go as far to say it's probably the worst live session I have ever recorded in mean, everything I've done so far. And I've done a lot of live sessions. For the most part, most live sessions are pretty, I like to think they're pretty good. You know, some, some are obviously a little bit more moody than others when it comes to Call of Duty. I think it's to be expected, so come on, give me a break. <laughs> but this current live session, very terrible, bad gameplay. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I end up calling the PDW terrible, and uh, it's a pretty damn good gun, actually. Let's keep in mind, I thought the FAMAS was terrible, too, when I picked that gun up for the first time, and first impressions aren't uh, aren't exactly everything, especially when you're doing bad. It <laughs> skews your judgment a little bit, so I'm being very, very biased there. Wonderful aim, I know. <laughs> uh... But I, I am happy to report I am a little bit better at the game. And you know, I think these two gameplays you're seeing are a lot better than anything I did in the uh, I did in that live session. So there's something to look forward to for live sessions. I will be a little bit better, just a little bit though. I don't want to get your hopes up too much. You know, you know how I feel about setting the bar too high. You're only setting yourself up for <laughs> disappointment. But it should be a little better going forward. So there is that much to look forward to so anyway back on the, the live session so you know people will see that and I guess this is a crucial moment right now there's always a, a boom period when a new Call of Duty is released and any new potential viewers who see stuff like that I mean they're gonna look at that and say this guy is a fucking whiny loser why would I want to watch him I'll go go somewhere else watch better gameplay people who aren't so whiny. I mean honestly I should rename it to something like the rant room featuring the coalition of whiny losers. I don't think any of us were uh, having too much fun that night. But luckily, luckily we actually cut that session off early, shorter than uh, most of the sessions I've done, so it will be out of your hair in just a little bit. So something to look forward to, I guess. Probably not, or simply don't watch it. Don't like it. Don't watch it. Tried and true statement to live by on YouTube. And yeah, it's just I'm. Ter terrible at marketing. If I wanted to get myself out there more, I could definitely do a better job of that, do more collaborations with other YouTubes. And very, I guess, anti-social in that regard. It's like I've got my group of friends and I'm, I'm sticking with them. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it's something I can improve on in that regard. Who knows? And it's hard to find people I like when it comes to video games because, you know, like I said, not everyone is uh, down for the ball busting behavior that I'm oh so known for so who knows anyway just bad at marketing and this last point it's not really a big one these days I don't think though it does go sort of into the the marketing thing you know the more eyes you can get on you the more subscribers you'll get in the end uh, I have this nasty this nasty nasty habit of dying every year 
right around the holiday season when that new Call of Duty game gets released. It's ever since Modern Warfare 2. Maybe, maybe uh, there's a, a, a correlation as to why that happens. I don't know. I might have to, <laughs> might have to look into this, research it a little bit, see what the fuck is going on. But yeah, those those death. It's probably not so big anymore in Modern Warfare 2. It really bit me in the ass because that's when uh, this whole Call of Duty craze really started to blow up. People's channels just exploded. I mean, my first. The first Modern Warfare 2 videos I made, like those first three or four, I mean, all of them have like 300, 400, 500, 700,000 views. I mean, it's crazy how many views they have. And, you know, those that one and a half month break I took, or however long it was, you know, that's potentially like three, three million views that I lost. Tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of subscribers that I possibly lost, so... I can't help it though. I like dying every year though. Even though it's just video games, it's nice to take a step away from it for a little bit. Don't want to burn myself out. You don't don't want that because if I do that, those breaks will be a lot longer than one month. So something to keep in mind <laughs> if you're getting if you get angry about my yearly breaks. I did already take a little one this this year, so maybe this one's death will be cut a little short. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe I won't take one at all. Who knows? But, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, thankfully my channel is is big enough to the point where I can do what I want to do and still make a healthy living. So I am more than happy to do, you know, Borderlands stuff, Fallout 3 stuff, Mass Effect 3 stuff. Even though they don't get me more views than some of my other options out there. I think at the end of the day, like I said, I, I'm going to do what I want to do. And... I think the moment I stop doing that is the day I will sell out, or I'll be a sellout. Uh, though at the way the at the rate things are going, I don't think that's ever going to happen. Um, I, I will not let you know the allure of money dictate any decisions I'm going to make. I mean, if it was up to me, I mean, yeah, I would prefer Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. Got 50,000 views per video, but you know, something you have to realize is that it's not the most popular game out there, and especially when it comes to the multiplayer stuff. And it's, it uh, appeals to a very select group of people, or maybe people who are fan of me in general, they watch, they don't even have the game, but, you know, they enjoy it. But it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't appeal to everyone, I understand that, but it, it's cool. I'm not going to hate you for not watching everything I post out. You know, that's why I do like the, you know, the variety part of my channel. Yeah, I, think, I like to think there's something for everyone. Whether it be you know the ex cal who who pan who takes a tank takes a tank and pancakes his friend's cement mixer that he was so happy to get and really make up make his friend angry, but I had a blast doing it, <laughs> laughing my ass off you know, is that sort of ex cal and the sort of ex cal that stumbles over his feet for a couple dozen videos while he tries to learn fallout New Vegas. Hey, at the end of that, I guess some people were saying that they were gouging their eyeballs out because I was so stupid in that game. And I hope they did gouge their own eyeballs out because if uh, <laughs> you don't want Rexos the second to do it for you because he, last night I checked, he was pretty damn awesome at the end of that game. So I came along. It's a learning experience. That's the point of blind playthroughs. I'm not awesome at everything I play first time through. I wish I was, but it doesn't work like that. And but I do, I do let those comments get to me. It's another part of the the jerk, jerk part of XCal coming out. It's very hard to like, so then I try not to. <laughs> That's why I don't want to do blind playthroughs, because uh, man, I'll probably say some pretty mean things if I do. That's why Batman Blind was canceled. Sorry, I'm sensitive when it comes to my gaming skill, you know. But you know, I like to think there's something for everyone, whether it be the Zombie Slayer. The guy who whips ass in Mass Effect 3 multiplayer and has a lot to teach. And Monday Night Combat is probably the uh, well, the favorite multiplayer of anything I've ever done. It's a damn shame that game is dead. Don't ask me to do it. I actually logged on like a month ago. You want to know how many people were on? Zero. So, but uh, I am not above perhaps maybe running, you know, maybe some Monday, Monday Night Combat lobbies like I did with Perfect Dark. Did that for a summer. Thought it was pretty fun. And Perfect Dark doesn't. Not the most popular game out there, but I enjoy doing it. So, 
We'll see what happens. Monday, Monday night combat lobbies with viewers. Very definite possibility. We'll see what happens. So, at the end of the day, it, my channel may not be as big as some others, and I may never catch up, but I'm cool with that. It's all good. I don't lose sleep over it. Could things be better? Sure. Right, let me try and spin this for you a different way. You know, I may not be doing what the big channels are doing, but they're not doing what I'm doing. For instance, did they crush Monday Night Combat like I do? No. Were they topping Batman, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Challenge leaderboards like I was? No. Devil May Cry leaderboards? No. Uh, what else is there? Has, has anyone crushed the Star Wars The Force Unleashed on Sith Master and made it look stylish and easy like I did? No. God of War 2 on Titan? No. God of War 3? Granted, that was only on uh, God Mode, I think, or hard. It wasn't on the hardest. I actually do have a Chaos playthrough recorded, but I'm not going to do post-commentary on an 8-hour game. So I, I do want to put that up somewhere, because I do like to showcase my skills on all the different games that I play. And, you know, that's that's the point of my channel, you know. I'm good at a lot of games. I may not be the best at each game on an individual level, but collectively, I don't think any big channel comes close to what I can do. And that's what I have over them. So, spin it that way. It sounds a lot better, doesn't it? I mean, unless I'm completely ignorant to what's out there. <laughs> as far as I can tell, I don't think there is a single big gaming YouTube channel out there that has, you know, the sort of variety that I do. And is adept at these games as I am. And granted, you know, there are... Uh, certain things out there that I'm not exactly the best at, depending on which live com video you see that particular day. You know, you might think I'm the worst Call of Duty player ever, or the best Call of Duty player you've ever seen. But when it comes to Call of Duty, uh, I am not all about the KDR, though it is nice. I mean, if I could get, you know, 40 dog tags a game and go 50 and 2, I mean, yeah, I'd love to, but I think just the way I play, and, you know, I am not the perfect player. I don't try to be. It's just I do whatever it takes to win. I think that sort of play style it can either pay its dividends and make it look amazing or make me look absolutely terrible. It's completely hit or miss. But I think when it comes to Call of Duty, I think and this is actually someone, this is something someone has said about me. And this is, I think, my favorite line that describes me as a Call of Duty player. Hops on flag, one-off dogs. Captures flag, dies, is not mad that he didn't get dogs. Something like that, you know? I think something like that sums me up perfectly in what I want to be known for when it comes to Call of Duty. Not as someone who, you know, can drop 50, 50 kills on any, any given game and die only once or twice or thrice or whatever. KDR really means nothing to me, but hopping on flag one up dogs, it's, it's pretty damn badass, I think. Or going for dog tags, going for them hard, still three kills off of a Moab, still playing the objective as hard as possible. Huh? See? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> so, maybe if I did more videos like this, you know, calm, cool-headed Excal, I'd have so many, a lot more viewers, but I find it very hard to do these sort of videos. I actually spent all fucking day yesterday trying to do it, and I didn't like how it turned out, so I'm redoing it. This morning, this afternoon, whatever, and I think I finally got it the way I want to, so. Hope it was worth my efforts. Blood, sweat, and tears. Internet, blood, sweat, and tears, whatever, so. Anyway, that's why my channel no bigger. I'm just a big jerk and terrible at marketing. I have a, a knack for dying every year. Just terrible. Terrible all around, so. That's why that is. I'm not mad about it, and you shouldn't be either, so. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and as always, peace soup.